Spoiler Man. We here in Queens, New York, baby. Specifically, Elmhurst, Queens. So, guys, we're working on a Penco gas hot water boiler, as you guys can see. So, the call came in as, Louis, we got no heat. However, there's heat in the basement, but there's no heat on the first or second floor. Okay, me gente, I just found the problem. So guys, like I said early in the video, listen, we're doing troubleshooting. Troubleshooting have to be that difficult. So we figure out that, number one, there's no purge valve on the return, but that's nothing here and there. We went upstairs, checked if there's any bleeders upstairs, and there's no bleeders upstairs on the baseboard. So we check power, we're getting voltage to the circulate pump, and a good sign that you know that the pump is bad is seized internally, it's not moving water. This thing, I, you can't even put your hand on it. It's like ridiculously hot. Guys, you also want to check, uh, do an amp draw. You want to make sure if it's pulling any amps because if it's pulling any amps, it's working. If it's not pulling any amps, it tells you right away that it's not working. Sure enough, we did that. We checked everything. So it's safe to say that we need a new circulator pump. We also need to put a purge valve with a ball valve here. And that's what we need to do in order to bleed the system. So guys, stay tuned. Can I take you to the journey on what is to do this repair and what is to give them heat, baby. Stay tuned. Wepa. It's a wrap, baby. That's right. We finished just doing this beautiful repair. So, guys, we stole the circulator pump because there's no movement of water. It wasn't circling the water, so we had no heat. Uh, another thing we did was install a purge valve on the return, which you guys can see right over here. We also put a ball, a ball valve. We also put a ball valve here on the back of the boiler to purge actually the, the basement zone. So, guys, that's what it takes to install a purge valve. That's what it takes to install a circulator pump. And that's what it, what it takes. So give up some heat, baby. So if you need some heat, that's right. You, you need heat from Louis the Boilerman? That's right, call Louis the Boilerman at 516-377-5000. If 
5200 but most importantly guys smash that bell button and youtube subscribe 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 hey <clears throat> leave a comment below we would love to hear from you with that being said woo -wee, dolly.